Hi Stampers, this is Kim with Great Inspirations. Thank you for joining me today for another video of my Stamp Happy Holidays series. And today we are going to take a peek at the F Festive and Fun stamp set, which is in the mini catalog from Stampin' Up. And when I saw this stamp set, I had a couple of thoughts. But one of them, I thought these images would be great um, images to put on a card that I call the Around the Block card. And here is this one. And then the little rhinoceros with the birds. And the giraffe. Now, some of you may know what an Around the Block card is. And it has a lot of different names. Some of them... Sometimes it's called a frame card, sometimes it's called a round the corner card, but when I learned um, the layout, it was called the round the block. And what you do is you have um, two pieces of paper with the design, and you cut them the same length, and then two other pieces that you cut a shorter length, and they are all one inch wide. And then that leaves a place in the center where you can put your um, image, your focal image, like I've done here with this mousse. And the center, when you put these pieces down, the center will measure two inches by three and a quarter. And many times your image, you can make your image that size and then mat it, and then that covers the center. But sometimes your image may be a little taller or even wider. So you can just adjust your measurements um, for um, the image and its mat um, just to fit the size of the image. Now, um, all of the supplies I use for these cards and the measurements and all that stuff will be found in my corresponding blog post. And the link to that blog post will be down in the description of this video. So I thought I would walk you through how I did this. And this card, it's fairly straightforward. Open it up, it just says Happy Christmas Wishes. And I think it's this one, I didn't put any um, sentiment on the outside, I just put it on the inside. And again, it's a Happy Christmas Wishes. And I just stamped the little um, bird. There is a, here's the rhinoceros image. And then there's the little single bird, and that's what I stamped inside. But then for this one, I did it a little differently. This is not just a normal card base. I um, made it a little longer so that I could create a pocket inside for a gift card, or you could put some cash in there if you'd like. So I'm going to walk you through how I made this card. Now, you do not have to use the stamp set, of course, or any of the papers that I use. Any stamp set you like, almost any, will work. And, um, of course, any papers that you like will work. So what we're going to start with, our card base is a little different. It's 11 by 5 and a half. And then you score it at 4 and a quarter and 8 and a half. And then all we do is fold this. Just keep folding, just like that. Grab my bone folder. And I'm going to open this up, and I'm just going to use some Stampin' Seal Plus right here on the ends, just so we'll have a nice little place to stick the gift card. Keep it secure in there, and I'm just going to put a couple strips. You could use tear and tape. You could probably use regular stamp and seal, but I like to just give it a little extra to make sure that card stays in place. There we go, and then let's just give it a little test. You could put it this way or this way, depending on your preference. Put this one back in here. And then, so this is the back of the card front. Where the pocket is, that's the back of your card front. And then we have the inside, and again, I've just stamped Happy Christmas Wishes, so we'll go ahead and put that inside the card. 
And this, Stamped and Sew Plus, I like it because you don't have to make a whole line of adhesive. You can just put a little bit here and there because it breaks off. It has little sections that just break off. And it's a really strong adhesive, so I do like that. So we're going to put this right inside, just like we would any other card. And there's our card base already. And now we're going to work on the around the block part. Now, if you are really great at placing pieces and leaving the um, border the correct size, or at least a even size, then you can just go ahead and adhere these pieces directly to your cardstock. I, I can't do that. So these pieces, if you have a piece of cardstock, or you can even use a piece of printer paper, and it is four by five and a quarter, and then you can, it makes it really easy to just line these pieces up on it, and then you just adhere it to the card base. Now the reason I said you might want to use printer paper is because, especially for this one, because it will have the um, gift card in it, and it might just help it be just a little less, you know, way a little less for the mail. So I'm going to get this. Oh, I've got glitter on there. Okay, oh, it's worse on this side. I made some um, party invitations for my granddaughter, and we used some paper that had pink glitter on it. Okay, so let's put some adhesive on here. You wanna make sure and get it along the top and bottom really well. And then we'll start. I like to start at the top corner. Now, as you can see, I made the cards. Some of them are portrait, like this one, and some of them are landscape. So if you have DSP that has a direction, like this and this, you might want to pay attention to that and just kind of know what way you're going to place them, the paper onto your card. So now we'll need a short one. And this layout, I like it because it's a little different, but it's not too different and it doesn't take all that long to put together, but it still looks really special. And some of the adhesive went over a little bit. All you have to do is flip that under there we go. And then we just place this right there. That's what I like about this. It just makes it really super easy. Take this off. Did it again. Okay, now we're just going to line this up right here. Still a little bit of adhesive hanging over. And now we just have one more. need to, there we go, there is our background, and now we can adhere that to the card, I think I need to trim that off, it's a little crooked. Must have cut it a little crooked. Just right along the edge. There we go. Just 
just put that on and now we have our image and a mat. So we'll get our image all, all matted and then of course we'll use some dimensionals. Have to have dimensionals. Use some to put it this on the card. I got this out of my scrap bin. That must have been another project I did. Okay, I'll take the backs off. Get our card. Get that all lined up right there. And there you have it. Nice, easy, really simple to do around the block. And then of course this one has the pocket for the gift card, just like this one. And then these two are just regular um, Christmas cards. And again, that was using the Festive and Fun stamp set. Thank you so much for joining me. And again, all the information about these cards, the supply lists and the cutting measurements, all of that kind of stuff will be found on my corresponding blog post. And the link to that blog post is in the description of this video. Well, I'll see you next time. And until then, stamp happy.